Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. Today, let me walk you through how to build and protect the EKS cluster via automation on AWS Event Engine platform. For those of you who are not aware, AWS Event Engine was created to help AWS field team to run workshops, to run boot camps, or any other events that requires hands-on lab access. So basically you can think uh, it is uh, on-demand labs provided by AWS. Okay, how to get access? You open a browser and then navigate to the event engine login page, uh, dashboard.eventengine.run. And then you provide your 12 digit or 16 digit hash ID, then you can log in, okay? Let me log into the event engine now, okay? So I already have the link here, including my 16 digit hash ID, click accept and log in. So first time logging, if you haven't logged in, you got three options. So you can either email one-time password or log in with Amazon, you know, retail account. Or if you're an Amazon employee, you click the last option. So for me, I don't work for Amazon. So I choose login with Amazon. I uh, use my amazon.com retail ID. So I click allow. So shortly it will say you authenticate you successfully. So now I logged in AWS event engine. Okay. So if I come back to the Slide deck, you can see the next step is uh, what we need to do is uh, from the event team dashboard, click AWS console. And from there, you need to copy the credentials to CLI snippets. And after that, click open AWS console. After you open AWS console, you can launch AWS Cloud Shell from there and paste the credential in the Cloud Shell, press enter. Okay, let's continue. So I click AWS console and it pop up a window here says here is your credentials. And basically it's a environment variables. I click this icon to copy the environment variables. And now I click open AWS console. So once I log into AWS console, I click uh, this icon here, it's Cloud Shell, okay? So I log into Cloud Shell. The next step I need to do is I paste the two credentials and press enter, okay? So while we are waiting for the Cloud Shell ready, uh, I'm gonna come back to the slide deck to show you next step. So the next step is uh, how to automate the EKS cluster creation and also deploy custom K10. So what you need to do is three steps, clone the Git repository. And the second layer, change it to the folder and run AWS prep.sh. And the last step is you run double e-deploy.sh to automate the whole lab creation. So I'll come back to the web console. Okay, now the web console is uh, uh, cloud shell is ready. So let me remove my old one, uh, my old folder, eks-k10. So I remove my old eks-k10. So I paste the credentials here, press enter. And uh, now I need to do the git clone from github.com yongkanghi-k10. So I clone the repository. Now I change it to the directory. Now I run AWS proper command, press enter. So this step we are installing the EKS CTO tool and also Cube CTO, the command line tools. But you will be asked for your AWS access key ID and the secret key ID for running from our AWS event engine platform, you don't need it access key or secret key. The reason is we are using the IAM rule, okay? So just cancel from here. Now what we should do is double E slash dot slash double E deploy. Okay, I click enter. So now we are building the environment. So what exactly we're building here? So let me come back to the slide deck. You can see once you run 
dot slash double e dash deploy dot sh. We're going to deploy eks plus casting k10 plus Cassandra plus create uh, the backup policy. So first of all, create the eks cluster by the eks ctl, and secondly, install casting k10 software. By the way, uh, that's the number one Kubernetes backup uh, dr and also application mobility tool. Okay, then we will deploy a Cassandra database and followed by create a Amazon S3 location profile. And after that, we will create a backup policy for Cassandra and then all of your environment are ready. So we will, the backup jobs will be scheduled automatically. So part of this double E dash deploy command, we will automate the whole process complete all of these tasks in about 20 minutes. Okay, let me come back to the side uh, to the web console cloud shell. You can see now we are creating the cluster from all AP Southeast two, that's the Sydney region. And the part of the automation here, actually it will create two cloud formation stacks. The first one is to create a cloud formation stack for the control plane. So right now you can see create a cluster control plane. After that task finished, we're going to create a manage, uh, manage node group. So this does take some time. Let me pause here. Okay, as you can see, so we created the EKS cluster, the total time to build the EKS cluster, that's 18 minutes, nine seconds. So now we are deploying casting K10 and a Cassandra database. And uh, yeah, there are quite a little bit of steps here. So we're enabling OpenID connector for the EKS cluster. We're creating IAM policy and also IAM rules for casting K10. And then we are installing casting K10, okay? And uh, after the casting K10 installed, we're deploying a Cassandra sample database. So now we're waiting for the cluster ID, uh, for the cluster web console UI IP address and the token code. Okay, now the environment is almost ready. So actually just finished. So you can see total time for custom K10 plus sample DB plus the policy creation, et cetera. It took uh, two minutes, uh, three seconds. So the total time, including creating EKS cluster, that's 20 minutes, 12 seconds. That's awesome. Remember, we just run one magic command, we get everything ready, okay? So I will copy the URL, which is the custom web UI, and uh, I will open a new tab, paste the link here, press enter. Okay, now come back to the cloud shell, copy the token code, and come back to custom web UI, paste the token code, click sign, first time login, company name, email address, click accept. So awesome, we got a fully ready environment. So as you can see, we've got the policy created and the back of jobs actually already kicked off. It's already running. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to show you too much details about how to run the backup, uh, how to run the restore of the containers. It is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once you log into the UI, easy to do, okay? Let me come back to the, my slide deck here. So we already created a fully ready environment in just 20 minutes. So all of these tasks uh, automatically created with this magic command. So once you've done all of your testing, I'm actually also have another command created. It's double E dash destroy dot sh. We will remove EKS cluster from a command line part of the EKS cluster removal, we also remove the Cassandra, remove custom K10. We will also remove leftover EBS volumes and also snapshots. And also in additionally, additionally, we will remove the objects from the bucket and also the storage bucket. That's 
basically covers the, how to automate the deployment of custom KTN, of EKS cluster, and also Cassandra assemble database, how to destroy the whole environment. So optionally, remember optionally, if you choose to, you can run double E dash K10 dash destroy. It will just remove custom K10, just remove Cassandra database. In this case, if you want to try again, try to see how custom works, how quickly you can deploy to a running EKS cluster, this is a scripting for you. So you run the double E dash K10 dash destroy command to remove custom K10, remove Cassandra, remove objects from the bucket. And then you run another command, it's called double E dash K10 dash deploy.sh. We will deploy custom K10. We will deploy Cassandra sample database. We will create an Amazon S3 location profile. We will create a backup policy for Cassandra and also the jobs will be automatically scheduled. It only take uh, less than three minutes. Remember earlier you saw two minutes, three seconds, right? Okay, for the purpose of this uh, demo, uh, the last step I want to show you is, uh, as I say, I'm not going to show you too much details about how to configure the backups, how to configure, how to do the restores. But if you're wondering how to do it, I got some other, you know, YouTube video to show you how to do it. So the first one is, uh, if you are interested to build the EKS cluster from a web console, from an AWS web console, here you go. You got to create the EKS.yongkong.cloud. It walk you through how to build the EKS cluster via the web console in 15 minutes. And uh, secondly, if you want to know more details about how the backup of container works, or how restore containers works, on EKS cluster, backup EKS, And uh, the third one is about how to build and uh, protect the EKS via automation. So it's EKS-K10-.yongkong.cloud. Last but not least, here's the automation source code from our GitHub page. So you can see github.com slash yongkong slash EKS-K10. Uh, that's all I want to cover for now. Before I wrap up the session, let me actually, yeah, as you can see, if I come back to the web console, you can see the backup jobs completed successfully. If I click the job details, you can see both backup and export. Export will actually copy the snapshot from container story. In this case, from the uh, EBS volume snapshots to AWS S3 bucket, okay? So before I wrap up the session, just to show you how to destroy the environment, you run double E dash destroy. We will destroy everything we build, including EKS cluster, and also the EBS volumes, the snapshots, and also the S3 buckets. I don't want to, you guys wait, but typically in you know just a few more minutes, the environment will be clean up okay come back to the slide deck here that's all yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, for those of you who are interested feel free to send me email provide any suggestions or any comments and also follow me by linkedin twitter in my youtube channel talking about the kubernetes data management uh, focusing on how to build a Kubernetes cluster, how to protect the Kubernetes cluster, how to migrate the containers between or across different cloud, different Kubernetes cluster. Okay, the last one is my GitHub page. Yeah, that's all I want to cover. Thank you very much. Have a good one.